Welcome back to Karen Go Burr, your exclusive ticket to the most outrageous Karen encounters. Dive into today's chaos as an enraged Karen opens a car door with kids inside, causing all hell to break loose. Witness the train wreck of an intoxicated male Karen who turns public transport into his personal rant stage, only to face a brutal reality check. And don't miss the dim-witted thief who gets caught stealing wallets right under the noses of bystanders. Buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. Let's kick things off with a cringeworthy dive into our first dining disaster, featuring a couple who, despite owning a restaurant, have perfected the art of being the worst hosts ever. No, that's what you did. But well, we spent our green money. And then I'm they come, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, then no. you come I'm out here. Call the police. Please, we need a report. Please, call them. Oh, we need a report. You messed up, man. No, I didn't mess up. Yeah, you did. Because no. this is their first time experience and they're friends of mine here. That was And then not, you want to make me feel bad that for, was because not I the, sat down at the table. That was and then not, you asked me, you asked me if I'm going to consult with these N-I-G-G-E-R-S. No, no. Yeah, Bullshit. that's exactly what you said. You, Every one of them heard it. No, they did not. Yes, they did. They, was all they, they did. And then when I got pissed off and you yeah. knew I was pissed, you wouldn't hide behind the bushes. No. And I, I walked right around there and couldn't find you. That's not right. I'm right this here. is their first time here, Greg. Right. That was. I was just bragging. Ask everyone. Yeah. I was bragging how good and it was to come, come back. But if and they wanted to come, come back right, come until back. you showed your ass out here. These patrons, along with their companions, are subjected to a shocking barrage of racist slurs and appalling behavior that leaves them utterly speechless. So you know what? We're not going to have anything else to say. We're not causing problems. We're, I'm making my point to you. These are my friends. I've known him a long time. Our first time down and here, and he like called all this. Sat down a and when I come out, you confront me for talking to him. No, man, we're not leaving because you say so. You condone this? That's what you asked me. You condone? You condone the blacks? I know condone about it. They're my friends. They're just like us. You just didn't want them in there. And I'm not for that. And you know what? As far as I'm concerned, stop. I apologize. At the sea or whatever, y'all my friends, and I'm not. I'm not going for that. Well, just tell me what was said when you walked out. When I walked out, he jumped all over me and said, "So you condone sitting at the table with the N I G G E R S?" This disgraceful display didn't just ruin the visitors' experience; it's bound to tank the restaurant's reputation for good. Get ready for the next wild ride of ultimate landlord lunacy, where a homeowner storms into her tenant's house without knocking, hurling baseless accusations. You can. This is ridiculous. It sounds ridiculous to me that somebody would pull over on the Let's go look because nothing was what pouring did over say? the side. He said something smells bad. No, she said it was dumped over the side of the limit. Really illegal. As the tenant calmly points out her illegal entry and offers to prove his innocence, she loses it, shoving him and threatening bogus legal actions over non existent drugs. Don't, don't you touch talk me. to me about don't, stuff don't like touch this. Me. You don't want touch me to me. start complaining about your behavior that I've been very quiet about? We can. What okay, have we I done? will. We'll get into it. Then you just touch me <laughs> after oh, you walk into on, our house sorry. illegally. Okay, go ahead. File a case. You want me to start? Filing There's cases? already people. I mean, Cliff I was knocked. here. You left the door open. And that doesn't mean you can walk I into knocked. our house. This is ridiculous. Can you please leave our house? Whose house? Our house that we pay rent for each month. Or I'm going to call the police. Okay, you go call the police. Shall I start to tell them about all the illegal drugs and everything else that's up here? What illegal drugs? Yes. Yeah. You want to do this? Ms. I, you really want to do you this? You just walk into our house and you just I put knocked. your hands on me. I knocked. It doesn't matter if I you shouted. knock. It doesn't matter if you shout. That's illegal. And you just put your hands on me. When the tenant finally stands his ground, she retreats with a promise of vengeance. Some homeowners are truly next level insane. The neighborhood nonsense goes a notch higher as an uptight citizen and self-appointed law enforcer accuses a child of breaking community regulations and crushes her lemonade stand dreams. Sell until the cops come. No, well, they... don't sell. It's illegal. It okay, the cops can do that for us. Can I give you some cinnamon roll? Ma'am, I don't want the cinnamon roll. I just don't want the traffic. You guys didn't even it's consider not... the people who live yeah, we... into it. We've had a lemonade stand. We had to have a permit. <sighs> I have five kids, but I also want to go set up in other people's houses without asking if it was okay. Why you would just we set ask up? you? It's public property. It's, it's polite. Yeah, well, we're not polite to us at all. Well, well, I don't know. Lemonade okay, stand. That's okay. You're so I great. That, but you don't well, set up. You're so sweet and neighborly. I appreciate it. Okay, 
for this poor little girl. Ignoring the fact that no one else has an issue, she demands permits, insists they move, and even calls the cops. Maybe you guys should ask. Oh Maybe you God. should have a heart you in your body. It wouldn't have changed your mind too. I told her, ma'am, listen. But I follow the, I look into the regulations and everything. Oh, I do it's have a, a freaking heart. lemonade stand. Yeah, Give me a care. break. Oh, call. I'm done talking to you. Okay. Call. And then go away and let us sell until the cops come. No, well, don't then. sell. It's illegal. Okay, the cops can do that for us. Great, thank you, citizens arrest. Hey, look it. No, it's, it's not super fun. Super fun. Thank you. You're great. Oh, that's what it was. The mom suggests selling until the police arrive, but this Karen refuses, escalating her tirade and leaving the child in tears. Mission accomplished, right? Brace yourself for a retail drama at its peak. An extremely unpleasant, rude, and obnoxious woman has unleashed her fury on a poor, hard-working employee at a mart. You don't need to talk to me. That I can say whatever the f I want to say, you Lonnie. That's I'm not the one. People. Yeah, that's what's wrong with you. No, that's Make sure you get paid what you, what you do. Worry about what you do. <laughs> don't worry about what I'm doing. Girl, I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared of you either. No. Don't come threaten me. No, I ain't threatening you about. I just, I just, hey, hey, you need to not speak I like that in front did. of a child, all right? I just did. Hey, you need to act like, carry yourself with some. Excuse me, don't You're talk speaking to me. like this in front don't of my talk child. To me. Don't yeah. talk to me. You need to calm down. It's not that big of a deal. Just get your stuff and go. That's what the f I'm doing. Well, then why are you cursing like because that? Because I want to. Get some manners. Look, get some manners. I witnessed both of this. I witnessed both of this. You need to get out of here. Go. And I won't. Go. Go. You're being unpleasant as all get out. No, you are. You are. Yeah. You look goofy. <laughs> Apparently, the employee's methods aren't up to her royal standards, sparking a torrent of slurs and abuses. When asked to calm down, she doubles down, even dragging the manager into her tirade. Next up, an older woman, furious about being cut off by another vehicle, escalates things by opening the car door of the first woman kids inside to confront her all hell breaks loose you know what you just opened you my way for me is you about to pull the from my car do you not top the car hey. pull the my way don't come my mother give a what you got going on what get the you me don't touch my mother car go to your mother I'm not playing with you don't touch my mother What's wrong with you? You cut me off. That's what's wrong with me. That's my face now. I'm not in your face. Go back to your car now. I don't have to. Go back to your car. Don't open up my you car. You cut me off. I don't off. care. Yeah, Go that's you. Your You're on your phone. Bye. Learn how to touch drive. my motherfucking car again. You'll get your ass whooped. Baby, get by. Go about your business. Don't touch my. Another bystander jumps in, siding with the first woman, but logic is lost on the older provocator. Right, thank you. Why are you thank you, she just touched the car. You have to keep it moving. You're, you're alive, right? Keep it moving. She has a whole time. No. Right, she just came and opened my door. She just opened my door. Don't touch my shit, no. Don't touch my car. Stop touching my car. Stop touching my car! Why did you come opening my door? Why? I don't care! You don't have to touch my You don't have the right to open up my car door. This is what I'm telling you. No, you do not. Okay, the police is gonna get called. You just touch my you just open my door with my child in the car. You just hit my car. Now I'm finna call the police. Yeah, but you, you being disrespectful and the baby got to experience it. What's her license plate number? I'm finna call the police on her touching me and for touching my mom. Touched you just me. touched my car, so. You touched I pushed me. you because you was in my way. What would you do in this situation? Comment down below and share your thoughts. Watch this woman as she harasses a young lady with a medical episode and her service dog, demanding she move because she is blocking the view of store shelves. Yeah. Um, is there a reason you're just sitting here on the floor? 
I'm currently having a medical episode. You can't sit anywhere else because like you're kind of in the way. Like I'm trying to look at these. Uh, no. What? <laughs> but, like, there's like a whole store. You can't sit anywhere else. All right. Pretty popular section. I literally cannot move. If I move, I run into a medical episode. Obviously, you had to move to get here, so you can't just move a little bit further. You, you cannot be serious right now. Are you joking? No, I'm being for real. I'm trying to look at these, and you're right in my way. You're for- I- Look like you need a service dog, so like- There's no respect for that term at all. Like, that- I- I don't even know what to say. I'm quite literally at a loss for words. And what you're doing right- Can you like, just- No, I can't. You're harassing a girl with a service dog. Can you- like. This heartbreaking encounter ends with a young lady choosing to ignore the absurdity, proving sometimes silence is the best response to such Karens. This next parking lot absurdity takes the cake. A thief so dim-witted he gets caught breaking into cars and stealing wallets right under the noses of bystanders. Hey, give it back. Hey, give it back. Give it back. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you think nobody saw her? Huh? You think nobody saw? You gonna call the police? Sorry. Don't be doing that. Sorry. Hey, do, hey, don't be doing that, scumbag. He, he's breaking into people's cars, taking their purse. Don't be doing that. A scumbag, you're mad now? When confronted, he clumsily tries to return the stolen wallet and apologize, only to bungle his getaway by hiding behind a dumpster. Tell them a uh, Costco parking lot. Yeah, I'm sorry. Costco parking lot. Costco parking lot. Uh, he ran toward the Amazon. At the mere mention of cops, he makes a hasty and pitiful sprint. Here's hoping the police teach him a lesson he won't forget. Get ready for a jaw-dropping display of entitlement as a woman decides traffic laws are just optional guidelines. While deputies are busy managing a traffic crash, this audacious driver thinks she's above the law and breaks away from the line, claiming she needs to urgently pick up her daughter. Oh boy, that didn't work out too well. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No! I don't care! The answer's no! Hi to David, Laura. Okay. Can you give me your driver's license? Let me. Yes, it is. What? Do you not see this blue truck? Do you not see that blue truck? Put your car in park and give me your driver's license. Put your car in park and give me your driver's license. waiting at the freaking bus stop. I don't care. We got blue lights and people's safety for a reason. Put your car in park. Okay. Stop her. Yo. But the police aren't impressed. They ask her to pull over and present her license, but instead, she makes the brilliant choice to drive off. Spoiler alert, her escape is short-lived. Stop. Moon sail drive, barrel coast trail. The cops catch up with her while she's mid-phone call, demanding her documents. Her excuse? She left them at home. Sit down. My daughter Sit was right down. here waiting for me. Sit down. Oh Give me a driver's I license, you registration, and proof of insurance. Because they, wanna, they blocked it off, and I was trying to get to the cell, and I got here. She's not freaking it's here. It's related to that. Look, there, my daughter. Okay, right sit there. down. My daughter's right there. I don't care. I was sit trying to get down. to my daughter. Dude, it's blocked off. Sit down and give me your driver's me. license now. I don't have it with me. It's at the house. Don't don't get involved. Don't get involved. I get it, but don't get involved. Don't get involved. Get off the I phone. I was trying to. This is my husband. I don't care. I was trying. You to are stopped for a lawful reason. How was it? It wasn't even blocked off. People were coming out of the street. You, you always were blocking all the way to seventy five. Yeah. Why do you think we're? She argues that her way wasn't blocked, trying to justify her actions. You disobeyed. This a, this okay, way. I'm not arguing with you. You, you want it or you take it? You can take it. All right. Come on. Turn around. This is not the way you should have handled this. I don't need to be arrested, ma'am. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get my driver's license. I was trying to get my daughter. 
that's a violation and that's a jailable offense. I don't know. So she probably should have listened to us a mile up the street. And Despite her relative's attempts to intervene, the cops arrest her, explaining the situation to her confused family. They point out the aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer and her forthcoming trip to jail. Do we have a name for her yet? Because she's refusing. Her name Jessica. Yes. Okay. Are you charge her with the? I, I only saw bits and pieces of it. So what? Obviously, we've got driving around the barricade. Driving around the barricade, and then. And then when we come up here, legally we're allowed to ask you for your documents, your driver's license, you're all that. She's refusing. So, unfortunately for her, better choices next time. But again, we don't. We had a lawful reason to stop that, and because she didn't think that she needed to wait, or that some of the road was opened up to get the, the traffic, the tow trucks in, then yeah. And so. She sends to six months of probation, though a longer stay might have been just what she needed to rethink her inflated sense of entitlement. It's time to meet the neighbor from Guilt Central. After pulling some undisclosed shenanigans, our contrite neighbor is on a quest to buy forgiveness with a gift card. If there's anything I could do, maybe give you a gift card for the inconvenience. I apologize. I, did you move here after recently? Is this? Is I've it? Been here for five, six years. Okay. Well, um, did your roof get replaced after Irma? No. Well, they're making people replace these roofs, and she got it paid for by the insurance. Okay. Now. You know, the people that have got their roofs replaced didn't take their hard-earned money out of the bank account. Did you think that the roof was good? Whose? This one? I don't Good. Well, you only when they said, say you have to replace the roof to keep insurance. And what I want to do is... Oh, well, we're, we're heading out. We're not... We're moving soon. Perfect. So what I do is I saw damage when I was up there. And I want to... If they owe you 50 grand because you have legitimate damage, would you want it covered? Nah, I'm good. Why not? Just... Make sure there's no pieces on that property. Or okay. I got your car now. So yeah. Ring, so. I'm sorry, sir. I don't see any issues. No, no, I've but I really could save you. Inside. I really could save you 60 grand. His attempt to mend fences is politely turned down by the new guy, who's clearly over this appeasement parade. Nice try, but definitely not a home run. A couple parks in a no parking zone, completely ignoring the sea of signs, and gets handed a ticket. Give you my card. I'm, I, I cannot get a ticket. Why? Here you go. The woman, flashing out her out-of-state police credentials, tries to pull rank, while her husband whines about his excruciating eight-minute walk. So... This is from New Jersey. Yes. Yeah. And I also am a member of the uh, Charlotte County. Wrong. Uh, at 3.30, it's got to move. We and I also am a family signs. member. I know. Okay, I'm sorry. so not, I'm not accepting the ticket. I'm sorry. You're not a family member of my family, though, so... I'm yeah, sorry. but... That doesn't mean anything. That, that's... Yeah. My husband that, was a police lieutenant. Yeah, that's why It doesn't mean anything to me. Sorry. But yeah, so that ticket is for parking here uh, from 3.30 to 4.30. It can't, it can't park here. What time yeah. is it? It's 3.30. 20. 20. 3.39. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. It sorry, took me eight guys. minutes to walk here. That's yeah. what I just told him. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I just got moved. This is a school zone for a pickup. I'll, I'll, Can you cut us a break up. this time, please? Mm -hmm. 35. 35. All right. All right. Sorry. They plead for a pass, forgetting that being in law enforcement means following the law, not bending it. Spoiler alert, they leave with a ticket and a hefty dose of reality. We have the big sign-off of a very intoxicated male Karen, who has turned public transport into his playground for racist comments and insults, only to receive a brutal reality check. Swim. 
this Karen who can barely stand straight is definitely messing with the wrong person and gets a harsh dose of reality, knocked into fairyland exactly where he deserves to be. And there you have it, another thrilling ride through the world of Karens. We've seen a homeowner barge into her tenant's house with baseless accusations, and an audacious driver who treats traffic laws like mere suggestions while deputies handle a crash. If you enjoyed these outrageous Karen encounters, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more jaw-dropping content.